Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Doc Hurts. Birds of a feather. And we do flock together. If you look at the title, we talked about Dan Silio and Tone. Now, I want you to understand Dan Silio, if you don't know who he is, he ain't hard to find, but it's a guy, and I, and I post it up and I say, the guy that I love to hate. Oh, yeah. The Bible said I should be in love with everybody, and I love everybody, but, you know, sometimes you got to hate them, too. God said, I love Jacob, have I love, and Esau, have I hated. But what I'm saying with all that to say this, we're going to talk about Dan Silio and Tone for a minute, and I want to just play you a little bit of what they're talking about and some of the things that kind of get me with them and just gets my blood to boil. And I just don't like what they saying or I don't like the logic to what they be talking about. And a lot of stuff they be talking about to me don't make no sense. So I'm going to play you just a little bit of what they're talking about and let you hear what they got to say on their analysis. And I believe they did this show this Friday, which is today. They did it earlier. And I'm going to just let you hear a little bit of what they're talking about. And then I'm going to add my little two cents, ten cents, or fifty cent in and, let, and hear what I got to say about it. The Eagles on average. Teams are averaging 18 attempts. Okay, now that's his tone talk. Think of that, so. If a team gets 100 yards on 18 attempts against the Eagles, that's enough for them to win third down even more, and that's what Washington did. If you look at the Washington games, they won the yardage number on the rush. They outrushed Philly in both games. And they won first down. But what happened? Howe made an interception late in the ball game to turn the tide. Mm -hmm. And to your point, what you've been saying, teams are going up and down the field. Actually, not really. They're going 20 to 20 in the red zone. They're only giving up 20 points. That's the saving grace of this thing. Yeah, is that I'll take they're it. only giving up 20 points a game in their pass defense or their scoring defense. I'll take it a step further. The Eagles are ranked dead last in the NFL in terms of opponent pass play percentage. The Philadelphia Eagles have the highest pass play percentage against them. Teams uh, teams are, are throwing the ball 71% of the time on the Philadelphia Eagles. Okay, I'm going to stop right there for a moment because that's something good to say. Okay, they 28, 21%, 27%, whatever he's talking about. But this is one number I wanted them to keep and pay attention to. All the Eagles are dead last pay pass percentage and they throwing on them 71% of the time. Well, guess what? They are eight wins and one loss. That means that they have the best record in the NFL. They won more games than anybody. This year. So, with all the numbers, and then, you know, sometimes they say, we, you know what, I'm going to tell you. I, I, I work in real estate. And a guy was talked about, he said, you can take the numbers, and when you squeeze them hard enough, they'll say anything you want them to say. You know what I mean? If I got numbers saying, hey, man, 99% of the time I'd have failed and look like I'm on number 99. Well, guess what? If you fail 99% of the time and you're on number 99, that means you're only one more more, more for a win. Right? You, 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 you one more step to a win. So if you squeeze the numbers hard enough, they'll see anything you want. So what I want to say to, to Dan Cilio and his partner, Tone, is y'all got these numbers, they saying all this, but what's the number they count in the end? Your wins and your losses. I don't care. If, will a team do this so many times? They know where your weakness at. Okay, they should know where your weakness at. And if they're trying to hit you where your weakness at, and they still falling up short, that let you know you still on top and you still winning. Let me let you hear a little more what else they're talking about. That's what these numbers mean to me. 71% of the time. That teams are doing this now, okay? They look at the and, and again too. You gotta remember, like I said in the first half of the show, I said this. I go teams down. When I look at these numbers here, they're looking at the trends going into the. This is a trend now going into the second part of the season. Where this, I'm gonna try to run the ball, just to keep you honest. I'm not running the ball to try to beat you. The only way I'm gonna beat. Okay, he got the formula. 
according to Dan City, of what it's going to take to beat the Eagles. Well, I'm going to try to run the ball, and what we're going to do is run the ball, and we're going to come in, and I'm going to look at the farm, and we got the farm. If it's that easy, man, look, they should take you and let you be the coach. Because I'm going to say this here. What I'm doing, I'm going to the after effects. And, the, and, the, and, the, and just say, um, let me say this. I'm going to operate in the four effects and the after effects. The pre effects and the after effects. M meaning that before it happens, pre effects, I'm going to say, Jalen them going to win the Super Bowl. Jalen them going to beat uh, Kansas City. Jalen them going all the way. I'm saying this right now. What you're doing is you're saying something after the game. You're looking, oh, look what happened. Look at this. Look at that. Man, look, I ain't hearing none of that. I don't want to hear none of that from Dan Silio because I know for a fact, brother, you don't know all that. If y'all knew all this, why ain't y'all out there predicting all these teams going to win? Only thing I'm saying is, I'm a Hurts. Jalen the Hurts, he going to put the Hurts on you. It ain't got to make dollars, but it sure going to make some sense because in the end, Jalen them going to win. And that's what you need to get, get 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 straight, get in your mind. You don't know a winner when you see one. And all this stuff you're talking, just keep on running your mouth, you and the rest of them. But, you know, I don't know how much of this, this stuff y'all want to take, or how much more can y'all handle. Let me see what this little stuff they talking about. They be talking. See, Philly is throwing the ball. And I'm going to do quick passes, quick hitches. I'm going to attack the linebacking core in the middle of the zone. And, you know, I told him, I don't know, I think maybe you said it three days ago. Most teams don't really challenge the numbers. They I mean, challenge was, the middle of the field yeah. and the scene. That's where I wish I, I wish I could pull a chart up or find a chart, but the Philadelphia Eagles. See, they talk about charts and pulling up the charts and what the charts say and what the chart going to do. Well, guess what? When you get on that football field, you ain't playing no chart. You're playing a human being. You're playing some flesh and blood. And the very thing y'all talking about is a game of attrition. That means people get hurt, people go in, they come out. It's a whole lot of things take place. It's a whole lot of things that go on. So with all that being said, just, 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 just stop it. Y'all doing too much. And the, and, the, and the sad part about it, I don't know where Dan Cilio stands. But Tone DeShields, he's supposed to be a, a fan, and he says, of the Philadelphia Eagles. And to my, and I'm believing, too, because I watch Jakeem Sports. Jakeem Sports seems like they are, 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 are like a, a, a sports, I guess, broadcasting. But it seems like they're broadcasting around the Philadelphia Phillies, or Philadelphia Eagles. And if you notice, in the last couple of years, basically... They have been promoted and put, look, they've got more eyes on them than ever before. Like I say, Jalen Hurts is the number one selling jersey in the NFL, right? That means all the attention, regardless of what they're talking about, the media ain't watching. Believe me, the fans was watching. And they be, as they became more famous, these people are becoming more famous. But when you start seeing this guy talking out of one side of his mouth, here he is talking about, uh, Jalen and, and this team. I wonder who his team is because I see him with a Tampa Bay Buccaneer stuff all in the back of Miami stuff where he played for Miami and all this stuff. What, what, what is the whole deal with this guy? But old Philly, 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 man, look, are you for the Philadelphia Eagles or are you not? Obviously, to me, you're not because you get more people riled up at you. You get me upset with you and, 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 and all of that. Like I said, he the guy that I love to hate. Because, you know, we tune in just to see what what he going to say now. Because we know no matter what it is, he going to try to turn it around, twist it around, and, and say this and say that, backtrack, split talk. And in the end, he'll be up there talking about they'll be playing in the Super Bowl. And he'll be talking about, well, this is what they need to do to win. And they going to do that and lose. And, man, just stop all that. Getting on my nerve. I'm going to let you hear a little more what this guy got going on. So I want you to just pay attention to the... To Dan Silio. Yeah, I'm pretty target sure. Target chart. That'd be I'm great pretty, if there was a target I'm, chart. I'm pretty sure if you pulled up a target chart for the yep. Philadelphia Eagles. To the middle of the field. Middle of the field. I, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work it out over the weekend. I'm going to try to find that. If I can find a target chart over the weekend, that would be. Because I don't think they're really. And Bradbury's probably got more green dots. Tone on the left side of that defense than what Slade does. I would think. But then again, you may see more green dots on the slay slide because those are usually where the number one is lined up. It is it's over him. So all these numbers here, 
going into the second half, they've got to get pressure. They've mm-hmm. got to get more pressure on the quarterback. Yeah, okay. They got to get more pressure. Well, guess what? They only got to get more pressure. They got to get more this. They got to get more that. Anybody can get more anything. You know what I mean? You win by 100. You know what? You could have got 101. You get you get 1,000 yards. You know what? You could have got 1,002. There's always more that can be done. But guess what? We ate and won, and we steady in the game, and just keep on watching, you're going to see a whole lot more, but I'm going to be talking to y'all a lot more, bringing you more little video, letting you hear a little bit about Tone this year, got to say, and you know what, I'm going to introduce you to, to this guy, and I heard that he's a cousin or a friend of uh, Dan Cilio, but I, I, I believe it, it is his inner, this is his inner self, yeah, yeah, I called him, he was Sneaking around my yard, and, and I called him the other day. And this is uh, the cousin of Dan City. I want you to see him for a moment. Yeah, this is his cousin. And I call him the Green Eyed Monster Envy. Yeah, that's his cousin, I believe. He's, is you his cousin? Yeah. Okay. Well, look. Look at him with his green hair, green eyes. And I mean, he looks so bad sneaking around my house. This got to be Dan Silio cousin, and, and it's his inner self. He challenged his inner self. This is that spirit of envy, jealousy. So with this green eyed monster, believe me, he got to get out of my house because man, I don't need no spirits around here like this. So, but I want you to see this is the inner spirit of that jealousy. How it'll grow on you, and and, and, and it'll attack you. You know what I'm saying? So every now and then you got to got him. Yeah, put him in his place. Yeah, get behind the Satan. My goodness, get up out of here. But with all that being said, I want you to keep your eyes open now, because we coming for you. You coming for you, Danny boy? Yes, sir. I'm signing off right now, because I ain't got too much time to talk. Got other stuff I got to do. But listen, like I say, uh, see you, and wouldn't want to be you. We out of here. I'm going to be like Deion Sanders say. What Deion Sanders say? He say, play me my theme music. Yeah, play me theme music. Come on, we finna get up out of here. Yeah, birds of a feather, they stick together. Play me my theme music.